Hey, this is Kev from Blender Bits. In today's video, we're going to be going over creating shapes in Blender. Now, shapes in Blender or any 3D program are a series of connected points called polygons, and they bridge together to form shapes. And we don't really need to go into that right now. I just kind of want to show you how to create shapes. So, if we go and move our mouse over to this side of the screen, and we click on this left click and drag up okay and then we go to create which is a little tab over here it says create click that we have a bunch of things under mesh we have plane cube circle sphere so on blah 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 and monkey let's uh <laughs> let's click on monkey boom ooh we get a monkey head which is also called Suzanne they named her now you'll notice as soon as this comes up you have these arrows. These arrows are really cool. They let you move in 3D space. So you can see this little thing here. This is your Z axis, Y axis, and X axis. If you remember high school geometry, pretty much um, this is uh, mapping to the Cartesian coordinate system. I'm not getting into that right now. It's way over the head of this video. All you need to know is this is how you move things around in 3D space, just like you're moving it in front of you in physical space in the world. So, the blue moves it up and down, which is Z. The green, which is Y, moves it forward and backward. And the X, which is red, moves it left and right, or in and out, or whichever way you're looking at it. Okay? Now, it defaults to this move tool, but sometimes we want to do other things like rotate or scale, make it bigger, smaller, or twist it around, or whatever. So, if we go back over here under tools, we have, and you have to scroll all the way up, there's translate, rotate, scale, and mirror. There's also duplicate, there's a whole bunch of things, but right now let's concern ourselves with translate, which is move. Well, if you click on it, you can kind of freeform move it around, and as long as you don't click again, it's moving, it kind of grabs it and moves it. When you click again, it drops it. Same with rotate. Okay, rotate, you're in here, you're rotating, you want it where you want it, and you drop it by clicking again. Same thing with scale. Okay, smaller, it's bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger. Drop it by clicking, boom, done. And it goes back into this move thing where you can move it around. Now, I generally don't like doing it that way. I much prefer to look at these little keyboard shortcuts. So if you let your mouse kind of sit on top of these, or any button in, in, in this program, you'll get a little menu, a little window that comes up, and it tells you the keyboard shortcut. So the shortcut is G. So if I go in here and I hit G on the keyboard, I can now kind of grab it and move it with the mouse kind of tracking to it. Same thing with rotate. We look, we see shortcut is R. Okay, so let's hit R. We'll go in here, we'll hit R and we can rotate and you see you can pull this this thing out and if you're rotating really close it kind of goes really really wacky if you pull it out you kind of have more leverage on this little kind of dotted arm thing that comes out right this little dotted line all right so once you you get it where you want it you click once again and it stays and the same thing with scale okay scale is s so we go in we click s and we can okay that's how we can move, we can scale, and we can rotate. So what you should do is get used to playing around with that. It takes a little while, but you'll, you'll get used to it. And the one last thing I want to do in this video, just keep these short and, and easily digestible for you, is show you how to kind of move your camera view around. So if, if you have a three button mouse, which most computers nowadays have one, you can click the middle mouse button and drag and that kind of frees up the space and you can look around your object or around your scene which is the world that you're looking at right. now if you hold down control while middle mouse clicking you can go in and out closer farther you let go of control 
click mouse, middle mouse again, and you can rotate. And if you want to go back and forth, side to side, you hold down shift and middle mouse click, and you can go side to side. So again, middle mouse button, just clicking alone without anything on the keyboard, you can turn around. It's called orbiting. You can turn around your scene. Hold down control, middle mouse click and drag, hold down the middle mouse button while holding down control, and you can go in and out, and shift and hold down the middle mouse button, and you can go right to left. Okay? So in the next video, I'm going to discuss something really cool, and I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do yet. But if you hit like and subscribe, you'll be notified, and then you can check out all the coolness and learn and goodness and learn Blender and get good and learn a skill and go on and save the world. All right, thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.